Hey brother, welcome back to this Making of a Nice Guy series. If you haven't read the book, No More Mr. Nice Guy, I highly recommend it. It transformed my entire life and set me on a, a journey to reconnect with myself, to be able to improve my intimate relationship with my wife, to be able to improve my relationship with my kids, my coworkers, my clients, my extended family, my friends, and with myself. And so in this video, I want to talk to you about associated shame. Shame is a topic that we don't necessarily think that we have a problem with. And for a fact, I didn't think that I had a, a problem with it. When I worked with my men's coach, he asked me, how are you with shame? And I said, oh man, I'm great. What do you want to know? You want to see my bank statement? You want to see my porn history? You want to see, uh, you want to talk about religion or politics? I don't have anything to hide. Let's talk about it. Let's do it. And he was like, okay. Well, I want you to read this book. And he gave me a book to read about shame. And in that book, it, it, it talked about the difference between guilt and shame. Guilt is a recognition that we've done something wrong or something bad, something that is outside of our value system that we don't like, that we can actually apologize for, that we can correct, that we can make amends for. But shame is when we recognize that we've done something and we tell ourselves that it's bad, but then we associate that we're bad, that we're bad for that thing. That thing was bad and therefore we are bad. So it's a, an association of self to these external things. It's a, an assignment of meaning that we project not only onto the thing itself, but onto our self. And it's a way of seeing ourselves. And, and it's more than just one event. Uh, you know, ultimately what happens when we, we're living in shame is that we stack these things on top of each other. We say, we look for proof to, to reinforce the fact that we're bad, which is not true. And we also um, start to say, well, if this is true, then this other thing must be true. So, because what we do is we, once we've come up with a story that we're bad and we've accepted it, then we start to live into it. We start to support it. Our brain starts to support it. And that's because we've told our brain that this is, this is truth. This is the reality. And our brain says, okay, let me come up with all the reasons why that's true to support that. And so for me, I had to recognize through this work that there was associated shame, that I was actually uh, ashamed of my family. There was a lot of alcoholism, a lot of domestic violence, a lot of 2 a.m. mornings. And I'd never invited friends over to spend the night. I never had sleepovers. I, I didn't invite people over to the house to hang out and watch TV. I never had friends over the house. And when I look back on that, I recognized doing this work that that's because there was associated shame. I was ashamed of my family. And because I was ashamed of my family and where I came from, I was ashamed of me. And that's what I mean by associated shame. And so I had to unpack that for myself. I had to back that out. I had to challenge those beliefs. I had to ask myself, is that true? And does that belief serve me? And do I want to believe that? And do I want to live this way? And what have been the results, right? Do I want more of that or less of that? Because I can guarantee you that whatever coping mechanisms we've come up with, whatever rules we've come up with ourselves, these are what are producing the results that we're experiencing in life. And if we don't challenge those, we continue with those rules, with those beliefs, then we're going to continue to get the same results that we've always had. And I know you don't want that because you're here watching this video looking for solutions, looking for answers, looking for change. And so here's what I want to do. I've, do. I've told you, I've invited you. So here's what I want to do. I've told you my story. I want to invite you to tell me your story. I want to listen to your story and What's bothering you today? What do you want to be different? What are your beliefs about yourself? I wanna be able to ask you clarification questions and help you get clear about what it is that you believe. And you be able to challenge your beliefs and decide is this how I wanna live? And I wanna be able to share my own insights with you and insights from men that I've worked with. I wanna be able to point to resources for you so that you can surface your own answers so that you can decide for yourself how you want to live. So you can go from being powerless and dependent and victimized to a powerful creator of your life by making choices about how you want to live and who you want to be and where you want to go and what you want to experience and who you want to spend your time with. I want to have that conversation with you. So there's a link in the description 
where you can pick a day and a time that works for you. It's a day and time on my calendar where we can talk for one hour by phone. I wanna have that conversation with you, brother. I wanna walk and talk with you for a little while. I wanna show you how your life can be different when you change your beliefs about yourself.